sounds like a lot of commotion going on, considering that I specifically asked for you to keep Eddie at bay. Let me guess. Eddie's hypothetical science didn't go as planned, and Nameless was able to get the slip on him, opening a cross-dimensional doorway with the intent of bringing some of his foul-mouthed friends to the party. We need to close it ASAP. Ray, would you mind helping us find a solution? You know, gaining insight into the wide world of the occult is my favorite pastime. I'm on it. And I assume Eddie's on top of it, too. Exactly what I'm afraid of. Well, we've still got a job to do, and people that need us. The rookie and I will handle field work. Good luck with repairing the hole in the fabric of space-time. Anything about fending off paranormal entities? Uh, no. Eh, it's easy. Just get big and get loud. The ghost may be captured, but you've got rips to take out if we're going to bust this thing.
Just your standard echoplasmic exercise. It's close! I can feel it! Congrats! You're down to one wrist. You're not gonna let a silly old ghost bother you, are you? I see four or five of these a day. Um... I can see you're scared, but everything will be fine. It will? Of course! Unless something... I bet wrong. this is the most excitement you've had all day. Uh, are we gonna die? Someday? Yeah. But not today. Probably. Through. Meet me at the bookstore so we can compare notes. Over. Oh, you'll never believe it. I was cross-referencing Egon's old research with Tobin's guide, and I came across an almost identical set of findings relating to metaphysically imbued relics. Hmm, could be a lead. I'll continue digging. Uh, oh, and, you know, you're doing great. Keep up the good work out there. I don't use the term genius generously, but I'm the most genius of geniuses who has ever genius. Massive developments are underway. You, me, lab, now. Look, it's stable. Uh, not the best example, but for people it should be fine. Someone has to go in. The key to freeing Winston from Nameless's possession depends on it. Ray's a founder. Cat's far too important to operations around here. Me? I'm the brightest scientific mind of this generation. So that leaves... you only half understand. Seems about half a yawn. <sighs> My name is John Horace Tobin. I am the gatekeeper between... Yada, yada, yada. And now you seek my guidance. Things come so simply for the living, don't they? How very lucky you are that the door you open has the answer on the other side. But know this. I am only aiding you because the creature you're dealing with is a harbinger of something much worse. And if left unrestrained, 
could mean terrible things for both our worlds. Oh, I do not miss the persistent slack-jawed gaze of humanity, nor do I miss your inability to understand that you already possess what you need. A binding relic imbued with occult powers. A tool meant to keep my legacy out of the wrong hands? The leather strap that sealed my spirit guide! Okay, but it came right off. Like it wasn't even knotted? That's not how it works! Oh, forget it. I've had enough of your living stench. Go now, until you return to me in a proper state. Dead. <laughs> oh my god, you're alive! Tell me everything! I'm still processing my existence. But in the meantime, I think this will help. You went through an interdimensional rift and came back with an old belt? Not just any belt, Eddie. A binding relic. Sorry for the interruption, but I couldn't help but overhear. The science of the paranormal is pure, uncompromised pursuit. But once you also incorporate good old-fashioned mysticism, it becomes a whole other ballgame. Eddie, that belt is the key. Not what I would have expected, but I'll try anything twice. I'll incorporate this, uh, binding relic, and let you know when the device is ready. Wait! Let's not be so rash. That's 